Well, tonight we've traveled far and wide to bring you a small slice of life here in the Commonwealth. First, you're going to meet a horse of a different color. Well, two actually. You might not guess that Mountain Pleasure and Rocky Mountain horses were developed a little closer to the gentle Appalachians rather than those craggy peaks out west. But despite their name, these horses are true Kentucky born and bred, and their owners swear by the sweetness of their temperament and their easy rolling gait. The Mountain Pleasure horse was naturally just a walking horse would shake his head and travel nice that way and had good, good size about them. The majority of them are mighty quiet turns. There are a lot of different turns in these, these Palomino horses. Some of them are more or less high strung, you know, and nervous turn. But these old mountain horses, the stock of them, they're most of them gentle and quiet, quiet turned horses. The Goldfinger, he's uh, He's 23 year old. He'll be 24 year old uh, the 23rd day of May, and he's here, and I've handled him off and on ever since. He's about a two or three year old. I've always kept him here for several years, and uh, these Mountain Pleasure horses is an awful good riding horse. Of course, there's a lot of old horses with just swing and pace. At the old timers used to call them the association based by the Baptist preachers, you know, they'd ride them back ten or years ago. In ways now, uh, for me, the old time, what we call the pleasure horses now, mountain pleasure, was the best type of horses we could get. You could break them to work, good smooth riding horses, sensible, you could teach them about anything that, that, uh, that a person knows. If you had no how, you could teach a horse. Right here is the last horse ever trained. Here's where I'm making him, getting ready to kneel down. And here's where I got him down on his, sitting down like a dog. And here, where I've got him setting up. So, he, he park. You could train a horse smart, just like anyone in books, going to school. <laughs> the moon horse I've got that does the tricks, I've had around for several years. He's very special. He's one of, of all the horses that uh, has been around to, that really puts the real good laid back disposition on him. We're pretty lucky in this part of the country. Some of the, some of the leading stallions in the Mountain Pleasure Horse Association is right here local. People has to come to this part of the country to get the real true mountain horses. That's the older stallions. We've got uh, one left. Uh, he'll be 27 this year. They've been here forever and ever, and they just mean a whole lot to the mountain people. Hadn't been for these horses, we'd probably have been starved to death a long time ago, you know. They're the ones that really made our living. What's really uh, uh, remarkable about these horses, you know, it didn't take the, the, the feed that um, a lot of these horses would take. We don't have good quality alfalfa and, and good quality hay and, and uh, good grass. Uh, we've got old fescue and, and very poor uh, land, and it didn't take the real uh, high proteins to grow these horses and, and make them. They could, uh, they were tough. They could stand the punishment of uh, the working and pulling and, and going and doing, and without a whole lot of uh, the feed and the feed program that people has today. How you doing, neighbor? <laughs> I'm not all that old, but I guess I was raised the old way, you know, back the good old ways. There's a big family of us, and uh, we didn't have a, a vehicle or enough to go. Whenever we went, we rode a horse or rode in a wagon or rode a buggy. And we didn't have it to one buggy, and we didn't get a chance to steal daddy's buggy very often, or grandpa's either one. But uh, we rode in a, I can remember going places in a horse drawn wagon with the horse to mules and uh, going to, to farm. Uh, anywhere we went, we went that way. We was raised the old-fashioned way, I guess. They could uh, 
We was all backwards to us. We thought it was the hardest thing in the world, but I'm very proud of it now. Hadn't been for the Mountain Pleasure horses, they wouldn't be as many good gauge horses as they are today. And that's including the Rocky Mountains, the Walking Horses, the Fox Trotters, the American Saddlebreds, the whole works. The Mountain Pleasure horse was bred for work as well as fun. In fact, Eastern Kentuckians wanted horses that could plow 45 degree slopes, then proudly carry their owners to Mount Sterling Court Day. In fact, 50 years ago, it was said that the true measure of a good Mountain Pleasure horse was the ability to travel 95 miles in one day.